All right, I'm here at the Andes booth with Diane Badalak. Diane is actually going to show us how to properly place the pattern on a continental trim with the Andes clipper. Okay. Am I on? Oh, it's because it doesn't. So we're, I've already set this side. So you can see the continental is one of the two shows an adult poodle can be shown in. It's it's a retrieving trim. It originates from when the dogs were used as water retrievers. It is, the hair is left in the, on the joints and on the main cavity of the body for warmth. So when they go in the water, they stay dry. If you've got a poodle with an awesome coat, you know how hard it is to get them wet when you want a shampoo. So the, the thing is to leave the balls, the rosettes over the hip joints you leave the bracelets, the pom-poms, around the ankle joints. And this, the jacket for correct balance, goes right behind the last rib. And you have to kind of move your dog around and play with it so that you can see. I always start at the bottom of the leg. I'm using the, the new pulse ion. And I am using it set on the 40. It's got a five length adjustment. It goes from a nine to a 40. I'm using it on a 40. And you come straight up from just about two fingers above the point of the hock. And this angle is, it's angled down. It's not straight across, it comes down a little bit. And then we're just gonna come straight up and you take all this hair off. I've already done it <laughs> from both sides. You want to make sure you get all this hair in this under this tendon. I usually just push it through with my finger. Come up. Your rosette, you come up to your rosette. Your rosette should be above the loin area. If they, if they get down into the loin area, they look like they're sliding off. The back is set just about wear a comb, pull the tail up, set a comb, bring it down, and that's where the back of your rosette should be. Once you get this set in, clipping it all in with the 40, you want to figure out where your jacket's going to come back to. This is a little dog, so we want to play with it a little bit. Here's where his last rib is. So we're about maybe an inch behind it. And we just figured out where it was. And we're just clipping out this little area. You definitely want a separation between your rosettes and your jacket. You can take your blade and edge it along the so you can see where your length is. Saves pulling your scissors out. Clean up underneath. Like I said, we don't want this going down into the loin. Same thing, we can just edge it with our blade so we can see what we've got. And once you get all this set, you can set this part. Pull them around. Pull this way, Rick. Good job. And you just want a thin line. And a lot of times, I will just set this. I'll use my little 5 8 wide toe blade to set it. And then I go in and clean it up with the shorter blade. Cleaning it up. And what does the blue light mean on your clipper? That shows how much battery you have. Okay. Now this is all lit up so we've got a full battery okay. and it'll get lower as it goes down. I tend to forget it's there. And then all of a sudden they have a dead battery and it's like, ah! So once you get your back end set, 
you come around to your front and you set your front one. Your front rosette or your front bracelet needs to be in line with the, the highest point of the back bracelet. So you just visual, visualize a line from the top of the hock over. And then, so you take that out, and because, like I said, this is a little dog, we want to go up to the point of the elbow. You don't want anything past the elbow, because you want to make him look taller. And then you just clip all this out. I'm just <laughs> I'm just clipping against the way the hair lays. So I'm getting a nice clean clip. Now poodle hair tends to curl and swirl, so you don't always have to go the same direction. You want to be aware of the way the hair is growing so you can go against it in all parts. You want to do that all the way around. And then, once you get your feet and face done, that would be your continental.